What color should we make these lights? Ooh. It's not a very strong green, but we're gonna go with it. Today, y'all, I want to talk about a topic that all my friends seem to be bringing up ever since I got into YouTube, and that is, how do I get free products? How do I get free stuff? Swag! Everyone's asking that question, and today I want to talk about it. I want to answer that question. I want to share a little bit of my story and how I've gotten to where I am now, and hopefully that'll help you if you're looking to go on a similar journey. So let's go ahead and jump into it. The three biggest questions that I get are, how do I get free products on YouTube? Should YouTube reviewers be even getting free products? And can I have some of your free products? Look in the description if you wanna know where each question starts. Let's dive in. So looking at this first question, how do I get free products on YouTube? My first response to that would be, what is your motivation for receiving those free products? And the reason I ask this is because your motivation behind going after that is largely going to determine whether or not you can be successful in doing it. I'm gonna share a little bit of my journey with you. I am obsessed with technology. Nerd. Always have been computers, cell phones, researching the latest and greatest. It's always been a passion of mine. And so I figured, hey, maybe this is something I can share with the rest of the world. I also happen to love videography and am obsessed with YouTube. So I decided to put all those together and here I am creating a YouTube channel now. So that's how I started, which leads me to answering the first part of that first question. You need to be producing content that companies find valuable. In my case, I chose product reviews. Product reviews aren't the only path that you can go though. So if you look at channels like Good Mythical Morning and other shows that don't necessarily just do a strict product review, but companies will go after them because they see value in product placement. This leads me to my next point, which is that free products come from great content and an audience. So look at the greatest YouTube channels of all time. Their videos have tons of views, they have a huge amount of subscribers, and companies are chasing them down like crazy. And the reason why that's happening is because companies want to get their products in front of an audience. So how do you develop an audience? First, you need to find a niche that you love. If you're not obsessed with whatever it is that you're going after, if you're not passionate about it, you need to find that niche before you can start producing content talking about it. In tangent to that, you need to get educated. So use the product, whatever it is that you wanna talk about. You need to be reading about it, you need to be reading blogs about it, you need to be just getting educated as much as you possibly can on competitors and competitor products as well because you need to be able to talk intelligently about it and that's the only way that you're gonna be able to do that. The next step is a basic one, but it's one that people just don't ever do and it's probably the biggest roadblock, which is you just gotta get started. You have to start producing content. You don't need to have fancy cameras and fancy microphones and fancy stands and lights. All you need is your smartphone and the product that you're looking to talk about. If you go on my channel, my two top videos were the worst produced. They were shot on my iPhone talking about an iPhone case and they have the most views of anything on my channel. So you don't need any sophisticated technology to just get started. And you've got products all around your house that you've used you know them, you know them intimately, and you can talk knowledgeably on them. So talk about the things that you already have and you already know, and just start posting. Once you get up and going and you actually start that posting process, start posting products for the companies that you wanna reach. So for instance, Netgear and Ulo Wine, these are companies that are now reaching out to me and are starting to send some more products for me to talk about and to review. I produced for them for free first. I had their products, I love their products, so I made a review of it and I talked about it. And I talked about why it was great and the applications in which it could be used. And those companies found me. I didn't have to go chasing after them. They came and found me, they sent me messages. And that's how it all got started. I didn't have to do anything fancy to gain their attention, but I did have to produce great content that drove eyes and purchases to their product. And the next point after that is don't be afraid to reach out. Don't be afraid to send an email to that company that you wanna to talk to, that you wanna gain some free products from, and just say, hey, this is who I am, this is what I'm doing, would you be willing to send a product over for me to do a review of? And nine times out of 10, they'll probably say no, but every once in a while, you'll get somebody who says yes. The biggest piece that people overlook when they think about this is the fact that those companies, they're also looking for advertising. Just like you're looking for products to talk about, they're looking for someone who's an influencer, who can speak knowledgeably about their product, and you could become that person if you have the right audience and you're producing great content. So for them, if they're giving away a $100 or $200 item for free to you, um, for you to talk about, that's really cheap advertising. $200 for a great ad campaign is really, really cheap. So 
it's really mutually beneficial. And when you're producing these reviews, that's what you need to be going after is how do I create a mutually beneficial relationship for a company and myself where they want to send me those products because they know that what I produce is going to also help them. Now let's dive into the second question. Is it okay for YouTube reviewers to get free product? The short answer, yeah. Absolutely, it's okay. As we talked about above, this is a mutually beneficial thing for both companies. This isn't you as a YouTuber stealing from those companies, or at least I really hope it isn't. I, I don't know. Don't do that. Don't steal from companies. When you think about a YouTuber, somebody who's looking to even potentially make a career out of this, one of the biggest hindrances to getting started is the cash. It's really expensive to get your hands on new products. And if companies are willing to help put those in your hands so that you can produce great content, it's a win-win for everyone and it's gonna help you as a YouTuber get off the ground. One of the things I really wanna distinguish though is the difference between paid advertisement and a review. So if a company is sending you a product for free and you get an email, they say we wanna send this to you, provide your feedback, create a great video, and that's it, that's a true review. You're giving your honest feedback and that's it. But on the flip side, if a company is sending you a product and saying, hey, here's $5,000 as well, produce a video for us, that is now becoming paid advertisement and YouTube actually handles that differently and you need to disclose that. And so be careful uh, in the process of receiving products to make sure that you're doing it in a way where you are actually producing an honest, unbiased review um, that isn't being tainted by money in some other way. And also in parallel to that, Make sure that you, if you are receiving free products and talking about them, still disclose that to your viewers, whether you say it at the beginning of the video or if you put a disclaimer in the description of the video. It's really important that your subscribers and the people watching your video still know that you receive the product for free. Um, even if it isn't a paid advertisement, it still goes to that transparency piece. People like to know how you got the product and they wanna see that you're being honest about it. And the last question I get from people all the time is, can I have some of your free products? <laughs> yeah, absolutely you can. I get a ton of joy from giving out these free products to people after I review them because I want you to experience the same joys and benefits that I get from these products. So how do you do that? Subscribe to my channel. Enter in my giveaways. I'm gonna be giving away some great stuff. I've got Wi-Fi routers, I've got some phones coming out. I've got all sorts of stuff I'm gonna be giving away here soon. So subscribe to my channel, stay subscribed, watch my videos, and you'll have every opportunity in the world to get some free products. So that's it for today, guys. I really hope that this was helpful for you if you're looking to go down a similar road, either via YouTube or some other method of becoming an influencer. If you like this video, if it was helpful for you, please hit that subscribe button. It is very helpful for me as a young YouTuber trying to build my presence and hit that thumbs up as well. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.